Yeah, Rudy, it just seemed like over the last few games, you've been figuring things out more and more with each game. Did tonight just click like everything together all at once for you? Uh, well, honestly, I just felt like we were well prepared as a team. I was well prepared for tonight's game. So, you know, I, you, that, when you're prepared, you kind of have more success at things. So kind of figuring it out as time goes on and game by game that you have to fully understand who you're going up against, what they do, how they guard. And then once you're prepared for it, I feel like you'll have more success. So. And then for you personally, to have a big game like that tonight, does that just help you feel a lot more confident moving into conference play? Yeah, most definitely. You know, obviously when you see good things happening for yourself on the court, you're going to be more confident. Um, ironically, Coach put on the board today that uh, he said play with confidence in all caps. So, you know, and me and Coach Southwell, we had a good pregame workout earlier this morning. So I feel like that just had something to do with it as well. And then the last uh, minute or so of the game there where things kind of got tight, what, was, what were things like in, in the huddle and amongst the team? What was the attitude like when you're, you're kind of trying to just – squeak out the win there when they're trying to make that comeback at the end? Um, execution, really. Just, you know, making sure we get the inbounds into the right guys, you know, getting the ball to our good free throw, free throw shooters and just trying to get stops down the end. We were trying to, you know, not drag the game out and make sure they didn't get no nothing going downhill and stuff like that, you know, make it tough for them at the end. So, Thanks, Rudy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Next question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Rudy, congrats on the win. Um, why do you think the newcomers and the freshmen were able to play so well together tonight? I just feel like, you know, in practice, coach, like when we, when we have like practices before games, coach mixes up the teams and stuff like that. So I, I feel like the chemistry just gotten a little bit better. Everyone's starting to understand how to play with each other. So I feel like that has something to do with it. And Guys have just been getting better over time, you know. We do have a young team. Obviously, everyone knows that. But I feel like everyone's just starting to, like, understand how things work and stuff is starting to click for us and the younger guys as well, so. And can you walk us through what the last couple of days were like, um, how you guys dealt with Tuesday's loss and came back and played with confidence today? Well, obviously, everyone knows what happened on Tuesday. It was unacceptable. But uh, Coach Weber came with a big tweet, uh, a big quote, excuse me, on Wednesday talking about the past is the past. And, you know, all we have to do is look forward for the future and stuff like that. So we had a good two days of practice before tonight's matchup. We prepped really well. We scouted. We scouted phenomenally and, you know, kind of just had a short term memory loss and understood that better days are ahead. So we just forgot about Tuesday. All right. Thanks, Rudy. Congrats again. Thank you. Appreciate it. Next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Rudy, you've averaged about 15 minutes before tonight. You basically doubled that just in this game. Has it helped you to kind of sit, sit and watch from the sideline to get up to the speed of the game? Uh, yeah, most definitely. I understood, you know, coming from the level I came from, junior college, jumping into, you know, Power 5 basketball. There was going to be a transition period and it wasn't going to be smooth sailings, but, you know, I understood that because I'm just, I'm a little bit more mature because I'm older, but um, I understood it was a process and, you know, I'm willing to work and put in the work and, you know, just earn, earn my time and, you know, contribute to helping my team win. What kind of things have you exactly learned, like from watching a point guard like Colorado has and opponents as much as your own teammates? Uh, I've learned that at this level, you know, it's every possession counts, you know, details matter. And the pace is a little bit higher than the pace that I've been used to been playing at in junior college. But, um, you know, I'm willing to adapt. I always have been. So I'm just going to keep doing that. And that's how you get better. You just got to keep adjusting at each level. So. Thanks, Rudy. Next question to Grant Flanders. Hey, Rudy, I just want to know, what's the toughest thing to learn in this, this Bruce Weber, you know, Coach Lowry run defense and the philosophies that they instill in that end? Uh, I feel like the toughest thing to learn, the toughest thing that, that I've had to learn so far has been 
being in the right spot on defense. You know, you got to be on the right spot when you're in the gaps. When you're off the ball, you got to make sure you're in the right position, either one in, one out, or you got to be on basket man, all that. So I feel like I've just had to pay attention to details and make sure I'm always in the right spots because that always helps. So even if you're not the greatest defender or anything like that, just being in the right spot usually helps you out. And then what do you, I mean, going into conference play, obviously the, the competition's about to ramp up a little bit. Uh, what do you have to go into that personally and as a team, what do you think you guys have to work on just to make sure you guys can uh, try to compete against, you know, the tough big 12? I feel like we're just going to have to, you know, get better day by day and, you know, make sure we prep. Like we're going to have to prep a little bit more harder. We're going to have to scout a little bit harder. And we're obviously going to have to work harder because, you know, the town is going to be up to notch in conference play, obviously. So I just feel like it's just going to be the little things that we're going to have to dial in and, you know, make sure we tackle. And then now you're already starting, you know, to show really good signs behind the arc and with your shooting stroke, where's the confidence behind that? And uh, obviously you did great, you know, in the JUCO level, but did you know it carry over like this to this level? Uh, I just feel like the confidence has been coming from my coaching staff. In practice, they honestly yell at me if I don't shoot the ball. If I pass up open shots, they yell at me. And it's always Rudy, shoot the ball, Rudy, shoot the ball. So, you know, just having a bunch of guys behind you that believe in you and you're, you're like what I'm capable of, you know, that kind of helps. So.